this house here has set on fire. Church of Allah, baby, yeah, we coming back. Oh, many people outside of the city don't even understand where to classify Treasure Island residents. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Isn't that beautiful? That's what I saw every day as a kid. I grew up here. This is Treasure Island, California, right in the middle of San Francisco Bay. 1941, this became a naval base. It was originally built as a place to host the World's Fair in 1939. When World War II happened, the Navy came here and they started uh, hosting families. And between then and in the early 90s, this was a naval base, and that's where my life comes in, living here. I grew up here and spent my whole childhood here. Went to school, did everything. And uh, I've told so many people about this place and wanted to take people along. Now that I have a medium to share with everybody, I'm going to. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to hopefully fly my drone, if I'm lucky, and uh, show you around. The military decided to lease this during World War II and kept it ever since. <coughs> in the 90s, in the 90s, they gave up the lease and San Francisco took it back over. So now in 2022, they're rebuilding and tearing down a lot of what was here. So it's gonna be interesting to see what exists, that, uh, what exists now still and what they've torn down. I don't know how, it's, how the sound's gonna stand up to this, but uh, this is how life was here. It's always windy, always, always cooler here than it was anywhere else because we're surrounded by water. Uh, nothing else to stop the wind, so it was always chilly. I remember walking to school one day and the wind, in my little small body, the wind was so strong that I was sort of at a diagonal walking. And it was just an interesting experience as a kid. I didn't know what it was like to live anywhere else but an island. Until, until I moved from here. But uh, it was a great experience, a lot of great people, a lot of diversity, and uh, good living. So look, I wanted to show you what was part of my view. So there's San Francisco. Again, this is what I saw all the time. There is Alcatraz, which I've been to once or twice. And then there's the Golden Gate Bridge. I don't know how well you can see it here. There you go. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. All the famous parts of the place. And then there's the Bay Bridge. YBI or Europe Way to Island. So when the island was first built for the World's Fair, this here was one of the buildings that hosted it. It's the Treasure Island Museum. Uh, it's also been used in a lot of movies. One great example, one I, movie I like is uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. When they're leaving Berlin on the blimp, this place was, uh, was used in that filming. And there have been quite a few other ones. And this is going to be one of the last things that's going to be left of the island after they redo everything. So when you live on a military base, you don't always have all the same stores and uh, places to buy things. And here we had the exchange, or the, they would call, or some places, some bases called the PX. But this here, this building here, that was a naval exchange. Now it's called the Island Cove Market. You go in here and buy all the basic things you would buy in maybe a department store, maybe a few more things, some furniture. Uh, I don't remember what the price was like, but I know that um, they didn't have as much. So if my family wanted something specific, sometimes we often have to go off base and that applied, that applied for everything actually. Maybe I'll just walk in there and see what it's like. It was nothing like this. It's like a little grocery store, or I guess it's a market. So you get an idea 
of the size of this building. And this was the whole, the whole exchange. So if you want, if you want a furniture, you want a clothes, you wanted something for your, if you wanted something for your house, all came from here. Not a, not a lot of space uh, for a lot of different things. And you had a whole island of families. That is about it. Another part of my life here, seagulls. Wind and seagulls and seagull poop. All right, now I'm, I came here and I met with uh, this gentleman. Uh, what's your name? My name is Carl Jones. And you work here on the island? I work on the island. How long have you been, been working here? here? For 10 years. 10 years? Yep. And what, 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 from your, your experience, what's it like working here it, it's, on this it, island? It's a good experience, you know, all the people, they, they, they're good homegrown people, you know, uh -huh. they're good caring people, you know, everybody is um, helpful, you yeah. know, they, 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 families, there's a lot of families up here. So it's, um, they made this into a low income? Yeah, it's low income, uh, John Stewart, that's the, the name of one of the low incomes, mm -hmm. the rest of it is uh, market rate. So, so they, they're tearing down some of the stuff. Right. And eventually they're going to get these houses, ain't they? Um, I think they're going to remodel them. Remodel them? Yeah, so they had okay. a big fight over that stuff. You know? really? So the city kind of stepped in, you know, because Treasure Island is part of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, they fought for So it. they trying to, because what I understood, they wanted to put some high rises and expensive homes. Yeah, they homes, sure did. They sure but then there's did. some people who wanted to keep some of the, the livable, um, the affordable homes here. Man, they had uh, picketing. They had a lot of the legislation going on. That's that's like big, that's California for you. Yeah, right there. it was a big deal, man. What do you think? I think that they should leave it like it is. Cause where they gonna go? Mm -hmm. you no, know, they don't have nowhere else. To go. So, they, so their idea, the, the city wants to kind of boot them out, and then build their own thing to make some money. Right. But um, the people are trying to keep at least a balance to have some of the low income homes. Right. Got right. you. Got you. you. Know, without the low people, there's no big people. Got you. Got you. All right, brother. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you too, man. Yeah, thank you, yeah. man. I'll t uh, have Welcome a back. Uh, what's that? Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. That's the island for you. It's the street I grew up on. Of course, some Canadian geese following me as always. Walk to the end of my old street to my old house. Everything is smaller, kind of plain, nothing special about them. But hey, they were homes, families lived them, countless lives have come in and out of these places. Somewhere in this row and that row, my best friend, uh, his name was Mozzie, had a lot of great times. We used to live here and come over and knock on the door. What's up, can you come out, can you play? We had the greatest imagination and had a lot of fun. 1989 was a major earthquake. It really restructured a lot of the city in different ways. The bridge was taken down, was knocked, you know, parts of it were knocked down and some of these houses were on this island. I didn't mention the fact that this was a man-made island. This was built, it was, this, this, was, this is not a natural structure. There used to be some right here. and the earthquake knocked those down. We're coming up on where I used to live, 1238B. Here we are. Can you picture little Kenny walking out of that door? There used to be a fence right here and uh, we play. Let's walk over there and have a funny little story. You know, I was a mischievous kid always into something and just always exploring i mean i just like learning my whole life even till now this uh this jetty here me and my friends me and my friends walked out there and i found a crab and i was like man i'm keeping this crab so i put it in a little container and they have these big walk-in closets inside inside the houses there and I didn't know where to put it. You know, I didn't want my mom, my mom and dad to catch me with it. So the funny thing that I came up with is 
to hide it in their big giant closet. My mom has always had millions of shoes. To this day, she has lots of shoes. She loves her shoes. Well, luckily, luckily, she had a row of shoes and I hid the crabs, the, the crab behind them. I didn't forget about it. I just didn't check on it anymore. I just left it there after the first day. And uh, <laughs> after a week, it started getting funky. My mom was like, what is that smell? She was asking my dad. My dad came up with whatever answer he had, whatever he came up with. And it turns out it was my crab and I was like, oh shit. So I went and um, grabbed it at some point when they were at work. And then that was my time to dispose of the, of the evidence. So they never knew this until I was an adult. So I think that was a pretty clever idea for me to hide out there. I'm not sure what kind of trees these are, we climb up them and we'd have this sap on us that just wouldn't come off. I climb up now, but uh, I don't want to press my luck. That, this square, that was our sandbox. There used to be a slide, monkey bars, all that stuff right here. Took them all down for one reason or the other. Seems a lot, seems a lot smaller than it was as a kid. Yeah, a lot of fun out here. Yeah, it was a great place to grow up. Seems like a great place now. Um, I do hope they keep the, the low income community um, thing going on here because if not, then they're gonna probably put high rises all around this thing. Um, but, you know, I just, I like the idea of having a mixed community and having people be able to afford to see a view like this. I was very fortunate to be able to grow up here and have this experience. I mean, it was just nothing but beauty. Always a fresh breeze, fresh air. I mean, as the ocean was always blowing that in and uh, always seagulls and birds. All these trees, been here. This house here, uh, I set on fire. I uh, got in there. I don't know. I had a habit of sticking things into the the sockets and messing. Just I don't know. I I'm experimenting and going around and yelling in the empty house and hearing my voice. Long story short, uh, started a fire. Security called. Never got caught. Other than that, largely just had a lot of fun. Brother, you live here? Yeah. yeah? I grew, I grew up here as a, um, a military brat when it used to be a naval base. What's it like living here now? You mind you mind if I show them you? No, you can. All right, cool. What's your name? Oh, it's Henry. Henry. Okay, I'm Kenny. Nice to meet you, Kenny. Yeah, nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. yeah. So... You, you like living here? Yeah, I like it. You got, you got a lot of space, but it's a little bit different here from the city life. Uh -huh. uh, I, I guess you can, you can say that things are a little bit slower. We gotcha. have our own community market. Gotcha, gotcha. You, we got our own, like, bubble essentially right mm -hmm. that many people outside of the city don't even understand where to classify treasure island residents whether uh -huh. they're san francisco residents or not uh -huh. so i guess that's that's their own thing but if you if you wanted to do anything yeah. like do you have to go off the island or is there anything to do here if you talk about amenities there's a lot of things you can do on the island right? okay we have a we have our own gym that's got gotcha, you cool. gotcha uh, that's still here. there's tons of community activities that you can go at the shipyard center uh -huh. they have a lot of uh, opportunities for people to get some help if they need to sure uh, there's two island markets you can essentially get a lot of things that you want to do here we have our own parks mm -hmm. you know we have a dog park we have a basketball court uh tons of people utilize these fields mm. for rugby football practices gotcha. so there's a lot of things we can do on the island there's a bar mm. right okay uh, so cool for me, it's, it's i guess so anything you need is here yeah you know yeah, i mean also. like maybe the few select things you might have to leave the island for yeah. but most things you that you need are here yeah dope dope man i appreciate you talking to yeah, me no man problem. what you think of the changes uh i mean in a way it's you know, the only thing that stays the same is yeah. that everything changes, you know, yeah. so. Bye. Cool. All right, brother. You, Kenny. All right, take care, man. People at the island are just as nice as they were before. So at one point, little, little Kenny was in elementary school and I went to TI or Treasure Island Elementary School and this was it. Let's go see what they've done with it, because apparently it's not a, 
elementary school anymore. I'm gonna show you two of my classrooms. I remember one of them's pretty easy to figure out. So when little Kenny got in trouble, had to go right through there and there was a hallway to the office. There are a couple times I did that. I don't know, I was, like I said, I was mischievous and always into something. It wasn't like I was some bully or something mean. I was just playing and talking and chatting and joking. So in 1978, there was a guy named Dan White. Um, to cut the story short, the mayor and the supervisor, Harvey Milk, they made a movie about him. Uh, he had a political disagreement with these people and he snuck in through the window of the city hall and shot and killed both of them and he went to prison. Um, it's not really all that important for uh, Treasure Island, but uh, Dan White, his wife, uh, Mrs. White, uh, and I had two teachers, Mrs. White and Mrs. Cottrell. Miss White was his, um, his wife and I, he was in prison when I was uh, in school. But this was our classroom right here. I remember lining up right here and walking up these little steps. And these two classrooms are kind of connected. And my desk was, um, it was like, a, it made into a semicircle. We're gonna look in there. But uh, my desk was taken away from the semicircle because I was always chatting and talking to everybody. But uh, let's take a look. It's an office now. They would bus in the Asian students, mostly Chinese from Chinatown, and it was just lots of Chinese students here. And the girls would, the, the Chinese girls would take rubber bands and tie them together and put them around their legs and they would do Chinese jump rope. I never quite understood the rules to them, but uh, it was really cool because um, some of them, frankly, didn't, couldn't even speak English when they first got here. And we were always exposed to lots of cultures here. That's the way San Francisco is in the first place. But the island was probably even a bit more diverse because you had people from all over the country in the military. So kids from everywhere, all kinds of accents. But this whole thing filled with kids just running around during recess. And we do all kinds of activities. Play to our hearts, we're content. And looking at the bathrooms, I can see that they still have the Sign for boys and girls. Yep. That's been there forever. Girls, boys, and a little water fountain. Not working anymore. It's uh it's interesting to see that this wall may be all gone at some point. Uh I wouldn't say it's sad because I don't I don't live here anymore. It's, it, it's just, uh, you know, makes you think and put things in perspective. Things are always changing and whatever they do, I hope it looks nice. I hope the people enjoy the scenery and the view like I did. Um, to be honest, I probably took it for granted as a kid since that's all I knew. I knew no different. And, uh, but it was certainly a beautiful, a beautiful view, beautiful experience beautiful people beautiful memories and uh it was all love under the right circumstances i wouldn't mind living here again what's your channel name uh my channel name is denim vlogs okay yeah, i got a youtube channel too oh what you got bro uh, it's called kane beats k-e-n-e-b-e-a-t-z okay I, I moved here when I was one, so it probably was. Oh, you've been here since you were one? Yeah. So you don't know nothing different than this area, huh? I've been That's here. That's how it was when I was growing up. I've been here since 2011. So, 2011. so, so what would you say? Is it quiet here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty quiet. Kind of get boring. It gets boring? Yeah. What do you do? What do you do for fun? Uh, we just, we just uh, like play around, go to the store. Let me get one, one, one rhyme from you. One freestyle. Okay. Get ready to spit something for us. Yeah, I, I don't got 12 subscribers right now. 12 subscribers? Hey, you got to start somewhere, right? Mm-hmm. All right, you going to spit something for me? Yeah, I'm going to put his beat on. All right. Hi, guys. My name is... <laughs> 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 hey, hey. My name is Denim. Going fast on this beat because I'm really Venom. Oh. Hey, people talking on that smack. Oh. Treasure Island, baby. I don't really go back. Oh. Hey. My name Denim, so shout out to my channel on Blam Below, it's Venom. Oh. Hey, people talking on that smack. Oh. Treasure LA, baby, yeah, we coming back. Oh. That's how I got right now. You got it. All right, yeah. Yeah.
Yo, that was yeah. fire. Hey, appreciate it, brother. Yeah. Hey, subscribe Remember, to the man. channel too. Like and right. comment. All righty. All right, thanks, y'all. Y'all have a good one. You too. Take care of the island for me. Here's the baseball field. I used to play for two teams, the Padres and the Orioles before I even moved to Baltimore. But uh, yeah, this was this little field we played on and I loved it. I loved baseball at the time. My mom would take me to all my games. But I, I have good memories of coming out here. I remember skating, skateboarding down here on a Saturday and I left my skateboard and I came back later that day and of course it was gone. So I think that might've been the one and only skateboard I've ever had. And there's the gym that I used to go to. My mom would go work out there and we'd work out. Oh, so the, the San Francisco Police Department does patrol here because you can see some. Then I tell you that these guys follow me everywhere. Canadian geese, my favorite, my favorite bird species because they're everywhere I go. I'm just sitting here reminiscing and enjoying this view. This might be the last time I see the island looking like this again. I'll probably be back. I like San Francisco and I like California, I like this area. But uh, I think this will be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, learned about a place maybe you've never seen or been to before. And for all my friends and family, you get to see um, where, where I spent a good part of my life growing up. Anyway, um, if you like this and you found any value, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me along on my journey. I'm going to be going up the West Coast on the Amtrak and uh, I'll be feeling a few more things. But like, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's really helpful to me I'm trying to grow the channel and um, just trying to get better at this. Uh, but I really enjoyed the day and I, I just I feel awesome that I got to share it with all of you. So. Uh, I'll see you soon.